Hi everybody, I'm Karan and today I will try to persuade you that recycling should be mandatory. What is recycling? Recycling reduces the need for extracting, refining and processing raw materials, all of which create a substantial and water pollution, substantial air and water pollution. As recycling saves energy, it also reduces greenhouse gas emissions, which helps to tackle climate change. What happens when you do not recycle? The first consequence from not recycling is pollution. There are many different kinds of pollution. For example, the styrofoam, which carries water and water or coffee pollutes the ground by leaking nasty chemicals into the soil. If enough of these chemicals build up, th this can cause cancer, a very dangerous disease that killed 9.6 million people in 2017. Just imagine, now there's so much garbage in the world that if we didn't recycle, I can't imagine that. We would be filled up to our necks in garbage in no time. Also think of animals. People dump garbage into the water into the water bodies thinking, oh yes, we've gotten rid of all this garbage. When one, over one million marine animals, including an mammals, fish, sharks, turtles, and birds are killed each year due to the plastic debris in the ocean. Just imagine, currently it's estimated that there's 100 million tons of plastic in the ocean around the world. Talk about animal cruelty. This is one of the main points. Not recycling, dumping plastic in the ocean. It can be very difficult to comprehend how much plastic we're generating. Let's imagine it a little differently. If you filled up the grocery bags with plastic all around the world and that we have created, and most of it is still present in some form on the earth, if we stack those grocery bags one on top of the other, we could go to the moon and back 5,790 times. To put the distance in perspective, all the planets in the solar system can fit between space and Earth, between between the space between in the space between the Earth and Moon, with around eight thousand kilometers to spare. Speaking of planets, Earth surely is the most beautiful planet of all. And now, after only two hundred years of industrial revolution, we have messed up Earth so much that we are looking to go and live on Mars, which is just barren. It's just a barren red planet with no beauty. Don't you think this is ridiculous? Why are we doing this? Even a small child can understand this and take small steps to get out of this mess. Recycling starts at home. If you reduce the plastic waste that goes to your dustbin and ask one of those groups to collect plastic and recycle it, you're helping a lot. But if you throw it in your dustbin, you're basically killing an animal or two because it'll eventually end up in the dump and then in some ocean or water body. You can use some plastic tic tac boxes and all other plastic boxes that contain goodies that you buy to keep some small things in your cupboard. I keep many things in those kind of boxes. All, all of you will like collecting small useless things like small balls and that come in fountain pen cartridges and pencil nibs. All right. And all right. You can put them in the small boxes. Also your keys, buttons, needles, thimbles, and all those small things that can go in small boxes. Why throw them away? Chips packets can't can't all be helped. But if you buy less of those and make more at home, you are helping a lot. We mostly make, we mostly make at home. And I don't understand why people do not like eating homemade chips because they're very nice, healthier, and more cost effective. We're not above nature. We are part of it. So as a conclusion, I would like to say, use it up, wear it out, make it do or do without it. Thank you. That was a very good speech, Karan. I liked it so much. I really liked your speech. I think you did an amazing job. You had very good information and the way you were speaking and the techniques you used, it really hit, like it hits the audience and like it really makes them think because you were directly addressing them and you were like, this is the problem and this is what we're doing. And I feel like you did very well. So well done. Yeah, I totally agree. I think the, like especially um, the way you were delivering your speech I feel like the content was good too but the way you were delivering it was very hard hitting the questions that you asked you know why are we doing this and um, like your recycling starts at home even your conclusion was very very effective and I think I do like the suggestions you gave as well for recycling they were more uh, personalized things that we can do which I get again like it's more relatable for the audience it's not just you know, just things from the internet. So I think it was a, it was a pretty good speech. I really liked it too. Yeah, uh, I love the speech too. And you know, you had good use of phrases like 
uh, the one about uh, being ne- deep uh, ne- neck deep in waste and you used facts very effectively effectively like you merged facts and language so well it was very beautifully structured too and yeah i really loved it um i have one question for you uh, what do you suggest um is a good way to learn recycling because right so, now not a lot like of people you, know right yeah so when you're at home like um all those kind of things that um i didn't like dirty and all you can make sort of things like with it and it's like it will be a good activity for you too to do create i mean to create stuff and you can make small objects that you can play with or like you can make like i have a little brother i can give it to him to play with if we can't buy right now because of the covid pandemic and all that's a good suggestion i like that thank you for answering thank you Does, so much uh, anyone else have a question okay i don't think uh all right dia would you